So Damien, this is just the start. Of course, our plan is to cut in as needed. Of course, if there's a tornado warning, we will continue to go wall to wall, but we'll be cutting in as needed with our trackers. That's right, Emily, and we have a brand new tornado warning in effect for northern parts of the state. So we're going to continue our coverage right now. This is the risk for today. Here's the watches and warnings across the state. We have two severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. We have a new tornado warning effect for northern parts of the state. So the tornado watch extends until one o'clock. And as I've been saying all day, this is just the appetizer of what we're going to see. But the one thing I do want to point out, here for today as far as the overall structure of the storms across Oklahoma for your Saturday. The stronger the storms right now, the weaker the storms later because there's only so much fuel available outside. And yes, there's a lot of fuel because you go outside, you can tell it looks like it feels like it smells like a severe weather day. But once again, the more storms we have this morning, they're eating up some of that fuel that's not going to be available later. So the stronger the storms we have right now, the weaker the storms will be as we had throughout this afternoon. But yes, once again, we have a brand new tornado watching or tornado warning in effect across far northern Oklahoma. So let's take a look at the latest. Let's go ahead and take a zoom in here. So Pond Creek, Deer Creek, northern Deer Creek up towards Brayman. If you're in that area, red line, center line, take your tornado precautions right now. You need a shelter in the lowest level center room without any windows here to keep yourself safe as we head throughout the rest of this morning. If we have Mike Minnick. We can go and show his shot and check in with him because he's our storm tracker that's on this part of the state. So Mike Minnick, we're looking at your storm right now. looks like you're looking at a base right now, some modest clouds. Give me an update on what you're seeing. Yeah, okay, uh, Damien, I just looked over here to my left. Uh, we're, we're coming in on Hunter right now, okay? We're going to get on the way up to Lamont, all right? Um, I am seeing a lot of, uh, you know, right now I cannot see a wall cloud in there because I believe that bezel cyclone is embedded back in that rain or rain has wrapped around it and cut off my visibility. But what I do see is a lot of dirt getting kicked up from the ground, uh, blowing from west to east. And so that's probably uh, RFD, pretty strong RFD coming around on it. So uh, right now this thing doesn't really look all that impressive. You know, tor as far as uh, tornadic wise, in the immediate future, but with that RFD kicking around there, that could actually uh, uh, start spinning something up in there. So we're gonna we're gonna make our way up there uh, as as quick as we can get there and see what's going on. But I will tell you this: these storms are just, I mean, it, they are moving fast. It's all we can do to keep up with them. And we've had some pretty decent road options, and still having trouble keeping up with them. So but anyway, it's uh, everybody in path of it. Uh, pay attention because, uh, again, tornado warning on it once again. Damien. All right, Mike, thanks so much. So this is what we're tracking. So once again, lots of rain with these storms. A very dangerous situation developing across northern parts of the state that we're going to be watching out for. Switching over from reflectivity, the intensity of the storm to the velocity signature. As you can see, the low levels of velocity on this storm definitely producing Definitely showing everything I need to see to produce a tornado there uh, with this storm. And then switching over to a closer radar. Once again, you can just see that low level rotation. Very strong winds pushing across northern parts of the state. And Pond Creek into Deer Creek right there. Heads up, you need to take your tornado precautions right now. In addition to the tornado threat, we're also watching out for that hail threat here from Pond Creek up towards Medfro or Medford up towards Renfro. That's where we're going to be watching here for this morning. So the overall rotation signature, you can see these things, it, they're just spinning up there. There's nothing to prevent these things from growing and showing us what they can do. This thing's going to drop a tornado pretty much at any time right there. We're going to have our team of trackers to bring you the latest on that. So zoom me out just a little bit. This storm is going to cross into Kansas here. I'd say in the next 15 minutes, these storms, as Mike Bennett was telling us, they're moving very fast here for us. And as you put the storm track on there, once again, they're going to be crossing over the state line here in about 30 minutes. So we're going to continue to watch that. That's not the only show in town. We also have these storms here across western Oklahoma, not producing any tornadoes right now, but they definitely are spinning. So they can produce a tornado right now. They're just primarily looking like hail and wind and rainfall primarily here for Cleo Springs up towards Fairview. If you're in the path of these, you're definitely going to see some rotation moving in. The overall rotation signature from ceiling up towards Cleo Springs, not very impressive right now. But once again, these things cycle right now. It's on the low end of the cycle, but just like a roller coaster, they go up, they go down. So right now it's at the bottom and it's going to start to slowly inch its way back up to the top, including the size for the hail core right there that we're going to be watching very carefully and putting the storm track on this one. Once again, pick your town, pick your time. This is when it's going to be pushing in. If you're along Highway 81, Enid down through Hennessy, Dover, Kingfisher, about 1230, about an hour from now is whenever it looks like it's going to be crossing the highway. So this is what we're going to be primarily looking out for that. So overall, 
two primary areas of severe weather across northern and northwestern Oklahoma. But once again, one thing I do want to point out, these are the areas we're watching right now, but as you look on down the line, these storms that are not severe across western Oklahoma, these are going to be moving eventually into northern parts of the state. So those are the storms that will impact there. For central Oklahoma, the storms I'm watching are going to be the ones way down here south of the Red River in the southern tip there of the Texas Panhandle. Those storms are going to be the ones that eventually lift their way for that second May wave of severe weather towards the I-35 corridor and central Oklahoma. So Emily, we had an early start here for the severe weather, but we are by no means done. We're going to be checking with our trackers throughout the entire afternoon to bring you the latest and keep you forewarned. That's right, Damian. It's